Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'll be doing a first impressions of the GORUCK Rough Runner. All right, so we started out our run with some plyos for warm up and some mobility work. A little bit beat up this morning. I went out to the Dirty Heads last night. Baby, you can lay me down. I can't hear you, Red Rocks. After saying I was going to stay in, I was easily convinced by one of my friends to go to the concert, so I didn't get into like 1 or 2 a.m. last night by the time I ate and went to bed, so a little bit slow this morning, but I will gladly trade an awesome experience over feeling fully optimal for training any day of the week, to be quite honest with you, unless I'm in prep, obviously, but went into some runner's lunges and some thoracic rotations here just to get the body moving, get the body prepped. When testing running shoes, I always try to add in some pogos and some plyos just to feel out how the midsole is going to interact with the foot. With this model, it also felt like there was a little bit more arch in it right out of the gate, so I wanted to make sure I felt that out before I started running, but I'm not going to lie to y'all, shooting running content is really difficult because going to set up the camera every single time is a pain. So we just tackled a 5K in the shoe, and I have been super stoked for the Rough Runner because I like GORUCK products, and more specifically, the Ballistic Trainer, both the low top and mid. So I was hoping that GORUCK would carry some of those features that they use in those models into the Rough Runner, and it looks like they did. So after my first run in these, my first thought is, I like the midsole. So this model has a gradient density EVA midsole, just like the ballistic trainer. So basically up here in the forefoot, you have a EVA foam that's a little bit more responsive and plush. And then as you make your way back here into the midfoot and heel, you do have a slightly more stable material. Now it's not so stable to where I felt like I was like rocking my heel on the ground because when I am doing my slower runs, I am a bit more of like a midfoot to heel striker because of my long legs and slow cadence. I'm working on it, I know. But I didn't find this midsole at all to be off-putting and I thought it was pretty dang comfortable, especially when getting onto my forefoot when going up hills. I really like the responsiveness of this shoe, and I think if you're somebody who likes a midsole that has a lot of bounce to it, I think you will like the midsole in this model. Now, I still need to test this shoe on trails and also long distance runs, but from a 5K perspective, especially like with a nice, slow, even keel pace, I liked how this midsole performed. My second first impression is, I'm a fan of this rubber outsole. So we have a dual compound rubber outsole in this model, and that's also similar to the Ballistic Trainer, as in the rubber texture and basically the density of that rubber changes throughout. And I really like that because, number one, I don't think this outsole is going to break down super quick on you. So when you're tackling trail and road runs, I don't think this outsole is gonna fade because the lugs are pretty deep, and they seem like they're deep enough to handle some light trails. I could see this shoe working really well in like gravel and dirt and like more like muddy or stick trails. So if you're somebody that wants a running shoe that has a bit more body bias towards road but can work for trail runs, especially light to moderate trails, I could see this model working really well. Now I still want to test that vertical and I don't want to speak definitively saying like it performed super well in that context yet, but I could see it working well just based off the outsole of this shoe and how other running shoes have performed in that same context. My third first impression with this shoe is that the upper is interesting. So for the most part, I like this polyester and TPU upper. It feels pretty good on the foot and the volume of this shoe's upper feels similar to the ballistic trainer. So if you like how the ballistic trainer fits, I think you will resonate with the Rough Runner as well. My only gripe with this shoe and something I would say be conscious of is Back here around the ankle, it is a little bit more harsh up here towards the top. Now you have a little bit of a padding back here to help lock down your heel, but towards the top here, it is a little bit more rigid. And now that didn't bother me at all. And it didn't really rub into like my malleolus on the lateral or medial side of the shoe, but I don't think that that's necessarily gonna be the case for everybody. So definitely something to keep an eye on with the shoe. And more specifically, just wear longer socks when you're breaking this model in, just to avoid that. I don't think it's gonna cause many issues for most folks, but definitely want to point it out because with running shoes that have slightly more rigid boots back here like this, I never want to say like, oh, it's never going to give you issues because everybody's foot and ankle are built a little bit differently. So just something to keep in mind, but I do like the upper from a breathability and volume standpoint. Just the boot back here does give me a tiny bit of concern. My fourth first impression with this model is that the laces run pretty dang long. So the laces in this model run a little bit long for my liking. Like I have these double knotted. Now I didn't use the eyelet back here for lace locking. So if I did that, would I save some lace? Sure, but right out of the box, like the laces are a tiny bit long. So you'll definitely want to double knot these in my opinion, especially if you're going on trails because you obviously don't want to be picking up sticks or snagging these on these. I might actually do like a double bunny air loop next time when I run in these. And now speaking of the midfoot construction, the tongue itself is pretty lightweight and it's like this padded mesh here and it was comfortable on the foot and there are three loops down here keeping this tongue secure. However, there's no gusset to this tongue. So something to keep in mind 
is that when you lace this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have that tongue lying flat because you don't want that to be moving, obviously, while you're training and running. Now, if you tighten the shoe enough and you're training, I don't think that's necessarily gonna be an issue. So I would just say hedge your bets, though, before you start your runs and your training by getting this tongue to lay nice and flat so you don't have to adjust it mid-run because that can be pretty annoying. But I don't think most folks will have an issue with that non-gusseted tongue just because there are secure loops down here. So just food for thought there. Um, laces run a little bit long, non-gusseted tongue, so just make sure that tongue lies flat while you're putting the shoe on and getting ready to go train in them. My fifth first impression with this model is I think this could be a really good option for athletes and lifters who might run a little bit on the heavier side or they want a shoe for doing some rocking and whatnot or carrying a little bit of weight with them. Because this model has a slightly heavier build to it and with a thicker outsole, I could see it working really well in that context. This shoe for my size 10 weighs about 13.3 ounces. Now from a running shoe perspective, that's a little bit on the heavier side and that's why I think this model could be a good option for strength athletes that do carry a little bit more muscle with them and they like a little bit more of like a structured stable feel to their shoe that has a little bit more of like a density to it and so if that sounds like you this could be a good option to look into and honestly it kind of like i feel like follows suit for goruck and their style of product so that doesn't necessarily surprise me that this shoe does run a little bit heavier because i feel like in the context of like having a really built out shoe for tackling different terrains, you're gonna want a little bit more density there anyways because that will help hopefully prolong the shoe's durability. But when it comes to sizing, I would say go true to size in this model. This shoe I think has like more of like a medium to maybe slightly wider width up here through the forefoot. Now it's not incredibly wide, there is a taper to it, but it feels very similar to the Ballistic Trainer which I also describe as like a more medium to slightly wider width. Is this gonna be your best shoe for exceptionally wide feet? Definitely not, because as you can see, we do have a tapered toe box up here, so you might feel a little bit limited, but if you have like a narrow to medium to slightly wider foot, I think going true to size in that this model will be a safe call. Now, I will be building out a full review for these in the very near future. I need more mileage in this shoe. I wanna take them off road. I also wanna use them for some body weight training for some outdoor body weight workouts. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you have questions in the meantime and you're planning on picking up a pair of these shoes, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally and ask whatever question you might have. But as always, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.